Hello everybody, welcome back to another City Skylines episode. Now this episode is a continuation of the last one that I did. Um, it's going to be the completion of the residential and commercial area. Um, just this little suburban area. Um, I'm, I wanted to get this knocked out and then move on to something a little bit more interesting. Um, because this is really just, you know, retail spaces and things like that, and it's not quite that entertaining, um, especially from a viewing point of view. Uh, it's not that great, but that being said, um, I wanted to go ahead and just get this knocked out and at least get the video out for you guys, so uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And a lot of it is still going to be incomplete because I had to stop myself. Um, if I didn't, this would have turned into, you know, three or four episodes of just working on this little area. And I know there's a lot of stuff that you guys want to see that is away from this small little town. So I just had to stop. I had to, I had to move on. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to finish it up with this episode. And then the next episode, we're going to move on to doing the pier and a baseball stadium sort of thing. So that's what's going to to happen going forward. Now, one thing that I've recently been struggling with, and I want to get you guys' opinions as well, um, is the editing for these videos. Um, I'm not sure what format works best, and I haven't really had a chance to get some opinions from you all, so I want to go ahead and do that with this video. I'm going to put a poll down in the description below. And I want you guys to go to that poll and select what the what the ideal video type would be. What do you want to see as far as editing goes? Do you prefer time lapse? Do you prefer um, part time lapse, part real time gameplay? Um, what do you want? Um, also about the video speed, comment and let me know: is it too fast? Is it too slow? Um, video duration. How long would you like the video to be? How long are you willing to sit here and watch it? Because honestly, I think, you know, 30 to 40 minutes is a bit too long in my opinion, and I want to cut it down, but to do that, I have to choose what does and does not get shown in the video. So that's something I want you guys to comment on as well. Also, I know this is requesting a lot, but um, video format as far as um, how things are displayed. As you noticed in this video, I started out with a few cinematic shots of what had been completed, and then it leads into the build process. Um, if you prefer it that way, let me know. Um, I think that's cool because it kind of grabs your attention at the beginning. You see the finished product and you watch how it's built, so I may stick with that. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see how it goes with this video. So, sorry I'm asking so much of everybody. It's just, um, I make these videos for all of you. So, having the input from you definitely lets me know what you want to see. And I want to make it as uh, pleasurable for you as I can. That really sounds bad, but you know what I mean. I, I want to make it a good viewing experience. So, the only way to do that is to get that feedback from you guys. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to reading that. So uh, moving on to what's actually going on here in the video, um, in the time lapse anyway. You saw I did some work there on uh, the Walgreens. I did that in the very beginning, and uh, as well as the Marriott Hotel, which was pretty cool. And um, I, you know, just did some detailing around each of those. And now I'm just placing some barriers here around the off-ramp for the highway. And th that traffic, wow. That traffic is backed up. I need to I need to do something about that. That'll be a later, later thing. I, traffic's a mess right now, I know. One thing I did cut out a lot of was tree placing and tree placements, I should say. I, um, I might go back and change the sort of trees that I have. I'm going to keep all the palm trees. But I use these acacia trees a lot, and I, I don't think that I like them. And I might swap them out for something else. That, that's going to be something I do off camera, but that might happen. I, I don't know. I'll have to take a look at the map and take a look at the 
type of region and everything that I want to do and see what would fit best for this. One thing I've learned from doing this is it takes a lot of preparation. I was not as prepared as I should have been going into this. Um, so going forward, you know, um, with the continuation of this map and any future builds, there's going to be a lot more uh, preparation on my side. It's amazing the details that you you overlook while uh, while getting started on doing one of these maps. Like, you know, you think about the climate that you're working in, you think about the region, but you have to think about also the types of trees that you want to use, the types of bushes. You want it to be, if you're going for a realistic look, you want those trees and those bushes to be as realistic as possible. So with that being said, you have to take a lot of time beforehand, um, before you even get started building, deciding what assets you want to use, what uh, what trees, what plants, what, everything that you want to use, you want to have that planned out ahead of time. And that's something that I did not do. And now I'm kind of regretting it because I, I want to go back and change it, but I'm already so invested in it that it's it's not really plausible to go back and change it. It's not something that would be very efficient. But it, it may still happen anyway, just because I want it to I want it to look good and I'm not quite happy with where it is right now. So here we're working on just a little basic uh, elementary school. You saw I did a little dirt track back there in the back of it and I'm putting a sign out front now and then I plop down some bushes and stuff. It's just your fairly basic uh, little school there. Nothing too special. And I decided to do a uh, gas station right next to it, kind of on this uh, 45 degree angled corner here. I think it turned out pretty nice and uh, it fit well in the little space I had to work with. And one thing I've started doing as well is making sure that all of these places, uh, like these businesses and stuff, that they're fenced off and separated from everything else like they would be in the uh, in the real world. So you'll see me do that a lot with uh, with some of these places. Um, you'll see like you know wood fencing around the back or metal fencing around it, uh, you know curbs and separating different areas, things like that. Um, and like I said earlier, this is uh, this whole thing has been a learning experience for me. Um, you know, different build techniques, different detailing techniques, everything. Uh, I'm I'm learning a lot as I do this, and it's uh, it's one heck of an experience. I, I definitely enjoy it, and I feel like each episode I'm improving, you know, little by little. And uh, speaking of improving, and and what I was talking about earlier. Um, as far as preparation for the map goes, um, well, another thing that you, if you ever want to get into doing these YouTube videos or things like this, um, one thing I can recommend is before you even get started with your, um, you know, recording and uploading and everything is, uh, you know, pick a, like a branding for the map. You'll see this a lot with the, um, you know, with the with the big guys like Strict Toaster and all of them. They, when they do their own sorts of builds, they have a, a like a uh, a branding theme for their for their build. So all of their video intros are the same, all of their fonts and everything are the same. And as you notice, that's something that I've changed quite a bit because I. I wasn't happy with what I started off with, with the, uh, it was like a weird eighties retro vice Miami vice kind of thing, which didn't quite fit. And, um, and again, I'm still new at this. This is really my, my first serious YouTube series. So it's, it's a learning experience and I appreciate everybody who has, uh, stuck around with me and, you know, uh, viewed the videos and enjoyed them and, and commented and stuff. I definitely appreciate that. But in my next build, once this is all completed and I move on to something else, I can guarantee you um, it's going to be consistent. It's going to be branded and it's, it's going to be a lot better. Um, again, I'm using this as a learning experience. So 
I, I certainly recommend that. And if any of you have any questions about this, um, if it's something you're interested in doing, you know, uh, hit me up, you know, um, tweet me on, on Twitter, um, because that's where you tweet people on Twitter, of course. Um, you know, send me a, a message on my on my Facebook. I, I reply to those directly. Um, it goes straight to my phone either way, so it'll get to me one way or another. And um, I can certainly you know answer questions for you, give you some advice, whatever you're whatever you're thinking about doing, or any questions about the game in general. I mean, I I don't have a problem discussing it with you, so don't don't be afraid to to shoot me a message. I'll uh, I'll definitely talk with you about it and go over anything you'd like to go over really um i i've played the game enough to know quite a bit about it um but again i'm still i'm still fairly new at this so i, I don't know everything but i'm here to help if you have any questions or if you just want to chat i mean i'm down for whatever it's you know i like to uh i like to be there for you guys so why not i know that sounds kind of kind of mushy and weird but this is why I do this, so don't be afraid to, to shoot me a message or something like that, and and yeah, we can chat. So, I, I keep getting off topic. Uh, I'm so bad at this. So what I've got going here is a, a little plaza area for the apartment complex that I built. Um, I did the, the parking lots and the buildings off camera because that was just kind of boring building placement. I didn't think anybody wanted to watch that, so I left that out. Now we're doing just a little uh, sports area here with a few basketball courts and a couple pools. Kind of thing you would expect to see in an apartment complex. And I really like how this turned out. Now there's a, a few assets that I would like to have that I, I don't quite have, like a like a pool house or something like that, or a small... I looked in the, in the um, residential assets to see if there was some sort of small little house or something I could use and there really just wasn't anything so I ended up using just these little sheds for bathrooms and changing rooms and stuff but it's not perfect but it, it kind of gives you that that feeling of you know you know what it is when you see it kind of thing so Right, and here we go, just laying down some little chairs and stuff around the pool. And I found these really cool umbrellas you'll see here in just a second. I like how modern, they're like square and they overhang and they're very modern-like. I, I like that. I, I use them a lot in this pool area and I think I might overuse them just a little bit. But I think it, I think it looks good, so if it's overused, oh well. I like it. I like it a lot. And sorry if I sound a little weird. My my throat's been acting up, and my voice doesn't sound as uh, as normal as it, it has in the past. So I apologize. I'm I'm getting over something, or I'm going through. I don't know what it is. Just some crappy crud in my throat. So, uh, um, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and continue to talk over this. Uh, time lapse because that would just be boring so i'm gonna get some music here playing for the next uh next little while and then uh yeah that, that'll be it you'll you'll see the build you'll hear the music um again I'm, i apologize if the footage is too fast um i've had a few comments about that so i'm gonna start trying to slow it down a little bit but i just don't want the i don't want the videos to be too long you know um so that's why I need your feedback. Let me know how long you're willing to watch the video for. Um, and don't forget to go down and, and fill out that poll. And, you know, let me know what you guys want to see as far as format goes. And, um, yeah, I, I definitely appreciate it. So uh, without further ado, uh, here's the music and the rest of the build. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy.
Took some time, but we pointed out That tomorrow isn't here right now, baby An absent mind came to roam around Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby Standing on my toes on the edge, I'm ready to go See it clear when the shadows are lit, I'm ready to go
felt more right Woke up lonely And for you There is nothing this world I wouldn't do I would walk a thousand miles Just to see you mm -hmm. 
Tell me straight.